don't think there's any like one right way of taking your makeup off but I really wanted to share with you how I take it off and it's been effective for me and it removes all my makeup and I think it works really well it's not rough on my skin I'm making sure I'm taking everything off and I'm using gentle products and I am double cleansing as well Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, which is all about educational beauty. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to remove your makeup. Basically, this is how I take my makeup off. Now, before we head into this video, make sure you do give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. And I'm also on Instagram, so if you generally wanna hang out with me or watch some reels, watch some unboxing, then make sure you hit follow there too. Now, let's head straight into this video. I wanted to share with you how I remove my makeup, so how I take my makeup off. Now, there are two ways that I take my makeup off. One way is when I literally just kind of wash it off. I just use a wipe to take the obvious bits off and then I wash my face, I double cleanse. Then the other way is when I've had a long day and honestly, I'm just sitting on the sofa and I just get my stuff with me and I take it off that way. Now, I always end each version of taking my makeup off with washing my face and exfoliating. So I wanna show you how I remove all my makeup before I actually wash my face and then exfoliate it. Because I don't like taking it all off in one go because I feel like everything's smeared all over the place. I just wanna take the obvious like few layers off, like the eye makeup, the lashes, all that kind of stuff. So that then when I wash my face, it it doesn't, like the face wash doesn't have to work as hard to remove everything, if that makes sense. So I take all the obvious stuff off first. Now, first and foremost, I actually get started with my lashes. I get a wet wipe. Now it's up to you which ones you use. I kind of like alternate between different ones. These ones are my nude sticks ones. And I basically wrap it around my finger like that. Can you see the two fingers like that? So you can see there's like a little dip there and basically i twist that hold it so i've still got that little kind of dip there right and then i just like grab my lashes and i press i don't pull so this is not stressful on my lashes because i press and it just basically the wet wipe the kind of moisture in there just kind of softens my my mascara and i might kind of like move my fingers back and forth a bit and then I very lightly drag. I am not pulling them at all, guys, so don't freak out here. <laughs> so my thing is, like, see, look at all that. My thing is, is that if you, and trust me, I've been wearing makeup for years, so I know, if you try and wash it all off, and even if you do the double cleansing, it's really hard to get that full on eye makeup off. And even using a kind of like eye makeup remover doesn't always remove everything in terms of your mascara. So I always like to take the obvious bits off first and then I kind of end up like doing the rest. And like literally I'm sitting in front of the TV and at least I can just relax while I'm doing all this, you know, and I especially do this if I have had, like I said, a long day and I don't feel like I've had like I don't feel like I've got much time to actually relax because then I just want to be able to do it while relaxing, if that makes sense. So then what I do is I just basically wrap it around my finger like that and I just kind of like go underneath my upper lashes and I just go back and forth side to side. And what that's doing is just picking up any kind of mascara that is like stuck in between my lashes. Same on the other side. Mascara is off. Now this is where I'm gonna take off the eye makeup. I've got quite a lot on at the moment. So I'm gonna use my uh, Borean. This is my cleansing water. This is really good because it doesn't irritate my eyes and you just, you know, it's just very soothing and very light. So I put a little bit, you only need a little bit by the way, like the smallest amount. And I basically take this over my whole eye and I remove all my eyeshadow. I also go over my eyebrow, take off my brow product. See, imagine taking all this off, like with a face wash, and then like even, even if you double cleanse, like I don't feel like you're really fully double cleansing if you are using your first cleansing step to remove all the makeup. Do, do you see what I mean? Like I feel like, well, 
now I might as well triple cleanse. I'm just really OCD with like cleaning my face and getting all the makeup off. And I'm really not pressing hard guys. So I know like sometimes I like, I show certain things that I do and then I'll get comments saying like, oh my God, that was so rough or whatever. Like look at all that, it's nasty. And it's really not as hard as it looks. I'm very gentle with my face. So I'm just gonna go over that again with a little bit more. It feels so good to take makeup off, doesn't it? I love it. So I'm just gonna go over my lips. Let's grab another cotton pad. And I'm gonna go over the rest of my face now. This makeup is actually from a look that I filmed for YouTube. Like I've literally been filming most of the day different stuff and i just thought okay this is the kind of day where i'd sit in front of the tv and just like grab all my bits and just like take my makeup off this way and it just feels so good and i thought i was about to sit down and i thought let me just show you guys how i do this so i really go kind of like into the hairline because Guys, I'm telling you, you will not, you don't realize when you're putting makeup on just how far back your makeup goes. And you know, like you're not gonna get it off all with face wash. Like for example, if you are trying to, like if you don't wash your hair every single day, you're obviously, and, and you're trying to take your makeup off without getting your hair wet. You know, like I usually put like a towel band around my head. To be honest, most of the time, if I am taking my um, makeup off, like in the, evening then i some if i'm taking it off like in the bathroom and not in front of the tv then i just have another shower because it's just like you know it's just easier but you, so much makeup gets in areas like you know like up here near the ear and like down the jawline down the neck And I get eczema, by the way, on my, like in my ears here. So I really try and like make sure I grab everything because otherwise it starts irritating my ears. Not just that, but like when you're putting powder on, it just flies around everywhere. Like you'll be surprised where it gets. It gets everywhere. When I know that my face is fully clean, that's when I'm like, okay, now I feel like I can move around. You know, like, I just feel like my face is just clean. Like, I actually cannot get over that some people take their makeup off like this and then leave it. Guys, like, I can't, be, I can't imagine those people sit there and do it as much as what I do. Like, you know, like 10, 12 cotton pads later, you're still kind of like, you know, doing like removing your makeup and you still get stuff on your, like it's still, there's still dirt coming off. So that's why it's so important to actually wash your face after and exfoliate because you really want to make sure you get rid of all that kind of dead skin. I'm just gonna very quickly splash my face with some water because I want to show you my next step. Okay, so I've just kind of like splashed my face. I'm now gonna grab my exfoliator. So I alternate between a few different ones. Uh, today I'm gonna be using my Wind Sahara Silk. It's a vanishing cream exfoliator. It's really good for when I have been pretty kind of, like say if I've done quite a few looks on my face today or I've been like a bit rough with my face, you know, like with makeup and heavy makeup, etc. because it leaves your skin really soft. So I'm just like, put this on and I'm just basically gonna like like circular movements every time I use this on clients my clients are like what did you just give me to use it was so good and you basically kind of like smooth it all over and then you wash it. So I'm just gonna go and wash my face now. And then I'm gonna also wash it with 
my face wash. So first off, I'm going to rinse this all off. Then after I've rinsed it, I'm going to use my Amorovitsia, if that's how you say it, face wash. And then I'll be back in a sec. And I'm back. I've washed my face. As you can see, it's still wet. Now, I wanted to really just show you how I remove my makeup. I'm not going to show you my whole nighttime skin routine at the moment because I just wanted to focus on how I actually remove it because I've had some of you guys comment saying, how do you take your makeup off? What is the right way of taking it off? I don't think there's any like one right way of taking your makeup off, but I really wanted to share with you how I take it off and it's been effective for me and it removes all my makeup and I think it works really well. It's not rough on my skin. I'm making sure I'm taking everything off and I'm using gentle products and I am double cleansing as well so I really wanted to just share that with you I'm just gonna like kind of pat my face dry because normally I let it just dry naturally but um, oh that was great wasn't it yeah so that's it guys face is nice and clean I can go and relax now. I had a long day and I'm very tired. Actually, I have to take Nico for a walk first. So yeah, if you guys have any questions about that, please do let me know in my comments box below. I also have some discount codes, which are in my description box below. And the links for everything that I've used is in my description box below. As you can tell, this isn't really about kind of like showing you the products or anything. It's really about showing you how I remove my makeup. And also please don't forget that I do have my vlog channel. So please come over and support me over there too. It would really Really mean a lot and I'd love to kind of see you guys there and like see familiar names on the comment section there as well and it's still a very young like baby channel so it's still growing we're right at the beginning stages still but I think you're going to enjoy it just watch a couple of vlogs like random randomly pick one and I think you're going to like it it's real it's real life real talk and a bit of my husband in there too and little Nico so yeah I hope you enjoy it and I'm sending you loads of good vibes wherever you are in the world well, I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.